Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Term begins on the 1st of September. Oh, I'm late. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you've been aware, as you may be aware, the decree of the responsible restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Elizar I'm gonna get roasted for this. Professor Elizar Fig to help you hone your spell casting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of the term feast. Start of term feast and the sorting ceremony. Your sincerity. Oh, Professor Weasley. Oh, how nice. Deputy Head Minister. Cool. Oh. The best part of the game, of course. I think that's pretty close. I think as close as I can get. Did you figure out how to stream on here and YouTube at the same time? Yes, but it is more set up than I want to do at the moment. So I'm just going to kind of skip it for now. Um, when I'm feeling more up to it, sure, I'll look into it more. Um, I think, honestly, I should switch from using OBS to using Streamlabs. I've heard that Streamlabs is really super simple like set up and great for compatibility so i think i think that's probably the route i should be going but have not messed around with it yet a few cobwebs and some dust nothing to be concerned about i am indeed a student but i could very well be able to help you i'm eager to get to hogsmeade <laughs> that was quite something a few cobwebs and some dust i am indeed a student but i could I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Oh, that sounds icky. It was one that was quite a few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. No, oh, that sounds really gross. It's like a weird like reverb. I don't, I don't I know if you can pick student, that up. But I could very well be able to help you. That one sounds good. Select your difficulty. Demanding gameplay challenge. Just do hard. Yeah. First name, Zeep. Last name. Uh, what's my last name? Um, wizard man. No, I don't like that. Um, nation. I don't really like that either, but it's good enough. Dormitory. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Firework? Zeep firework? <laughs> okay. Firework works. It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the time begins. Oh, that's cool. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar! George, glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm -hmm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? 
We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. I'm so excited for this. traveling companion a new student new yes sir I'm starting school as a fifth year how extraordinary it is indeed none of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late nor have I of course as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins well you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We do. Oh. Oh, you think it's okay? But you can see them now because I, I just saw a dab. So cool. Are you alright? You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. 
It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Have some. Have a little bit of an issue here. Stream just went down. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he. What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage midair? A typical dragon would never. Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Okay, let's see if we can uh, fix some things here. Let's just try this. Let's see how this looks. How far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you the think... The port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Ooh, Mind your going. step. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. magic yes a powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time <laughs> Hogwarts castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic I don't know where she came into possession of the port key but I am certain it was to do with that search ah there's the path down below this way. Yeah, so, I'm trying to get back into streaming why again. Why searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Yeah, I'm trying to get back into streaming again. It's... It's been a while. Um, I do enjoy. It. I do enjoy the the feed, the instant uh, feedback. Is that ice? Feels good. It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Use your camera to select an active target. I don't think sliding was really necessary for that right there. Was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Your one was improving with every car. Thank you, sir. Like actually, is that how is that how skills work in the game? This feels good, though. Oh, wow. oh, broke something. Oh, 
Birds? No, I can't hit the birds. Ah, oh, up there. Cool. Hold up. <laughs> that was cool. Who's attack? Oh, that's fun. I like that. He went that way, so I think I want to go this way. Oh, a chest? Found gold. Be careful, there's a pot. <laughs> We're close now, it's just ahead. Too bad. Not too bad. Almost there. You can hit him, can I? Ooh, what, what? I really want to. You you can learn uh forbidden spells like Avada Kedavra. So I mean, we're definitely gonna have a run where I uh, I do a quick save and then I destroy everyone in Hogwarts. Like a hundred percent. That's what we're gonna end up doing eventually. Why did someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. What? That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. This is just so much fun, just shooting. Oh. When the map shows your surroundings, use your... Uh... Okay. Professor, this statue... This may have been his home. Am I supposed to be investigating the thing that he's literally staring at? Can't be. No way. Yeah, I'm destroying like every single pot. I don't think I've gotten a single uh, reward for that doing so yet. Did crystallize stone again? But what could it be blocking? Wait, wait, no. This is the the way we're supposed to go. Let's go back. That's not right, we're not gonna do that yet. Oh, the stream seems way off. That's okay. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Hmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. See her? Barely know her. Ah, uh, yes. When Elvis Dumbledore looks at the crystal ball, um, the uh, uh, cards, uh, tarot reading, uh, bird, astronomer bird. Yep. I think it makes perfect sense. Yeah, if you think about it, right? The question is, am I going absolutely mad here? Is my footage worth using? Is it lagging? Oh, 
OBS seems to be jumping around a little bit, but the game seems to be running just fine. What's this? Professor Fig! How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. That was a clean transition. Hello? Just a moment. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number twelve, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key. Your wife's porky. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. He's a little bit slow on the uptake. Stay close. After you. Inside the cards, if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You'll want to take a breath. A what? Thief's downfall. That water it washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. I don't like his eyes. He's got evil person eyes. Like the glow you saw on the porky container. No, darker. 
I saw that same glow in the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Here we are. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Ooh. Thank you for your help. I love goblin tech. It's so cool. What are you? you? Can't hide from me. 36 gold. Did I just did I just steal from a bank? This is not the bank you want to steal from. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Oi! Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Oh. How does this work? Set your wand with the mouse to guide it along the symbol's path to learn the spell. Press the corresponding input when prompted to accelerate your wand's motion along the symbol's path. Cool. Oh, I see. Revelio. There, I saw something. Move it was already glowing. And try again. <laughs> it was literally already glowing before I did that. A door. That's a star. That symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I Revelio. Do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Yeah, it, tell, it says the, the last name too. You notice this? So when I do this spell, right, it works just fine. If I do it too fast, the little fireworks. That's cool. Oh, I love this. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again. But on the floor. Ooh. Lumos. What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. 
You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Gotcha. Face. Face again. Ooh, go. Awesome. Uh, you've acquired the Wand Lightning Charm, Lumos. Cool, how do I use it? Tap one. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Oh. I, I don't know if I want that to happen. Quick action event, so no. Probably learn more than just one spell. Oh, I see. I'm supposed to uh, let you attack me. Boom, do that again. Nope, attack me. Oh. There we go. Now I can kill you. I see. Stay close. Oh, okay. <laughs> Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Oh, wait, Lumos. I can... Oh, cheeky. Where am I supposed to go? I wonder... I wonder where I'm supposed What's to go. Happening? Can't be that Wisps way. Wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Lumos. Ah, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. There's a couple of statues now. Uh, Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos. But oh, there's a treasure chest, though. Revelio. Have I missed any other treasure chests? Hopefully not. Lumos. Right. This is good. Seems I have no yeah. Joy. No, this is good. Align these statues with their reflections. Ooh, ooh, Potato. ooh. Potato.
hold Q during Ortego to stun enemies with a stupefy. Oh, oh. Stun enemies take extra damage. Okay, yeah. Very cool. Nice. Nice. Stupefy is automatic. Oop, too slow on that one. Was all. Rebellion. Where's the professor in all of this, though? Rebellion. Is this a memory? It looks like a memory basin. Uh, there you are. How did you? What is this place? I don't know, but I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. Follow my lead. Too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the ritual wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. 
Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We will... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you did terrible. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I don't think he's necessarily a traitor. Anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Well, Vault didn't like that. Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. We're in the woods. Are we near Hogwarts? Oh, yes. All right. Okay. Very exciting. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, 
I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Phineas Nigellus Black. Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Sure do. Certain expectations. Yeah, yeah, my character's like 11-ish or so. I think like 16. <laughs> can't wait to start classes or I can't wait to explore. I'm an explorer. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Mm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit, but your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Mm. I wonder... Mm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Mm. What is it? Ooh. Daring, curiosity, loyalty, ambition. Not loyalty. That's uh, that's some Ravenclaw. Or no, curiosity would be Ravenclaw. Loyalty would be Hufflepuff. Ambition. Is it ambition? I may seem single-minded, but it is important to go after what you want from life. Hmm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. Yeah. 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 You belong in... Slytherin! All right. Oh, magic kit. <laughs> oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. 
I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I don't like him very much. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. It may be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Very well. Aspiration. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. I love it. I love it so much. There's lots of world building now. It's like a movie for like the first hour here. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. All right, we're back. Um, seems like this game requires more resources than my computer has to offer, which is wild because it's it's a new computer. Um, can't can't keep up with my forty ninety. Um, yeah. Oh, mirror physics. Oh, that's nice. Um, wait. No, that's backwards. <laughs> wait, wait. It, it's it's the mirror that just shows you the back. <laughs> what is going on with this mirror? I mean, okay, cool. <laughs> I love this game already. <laughs> Oh, that's dumb. What if I just go elsewhere? Can I just go elsewhere? I don't think I have a map. I hit M. Escape does the exact same thing. I don't think I have a map yet. I suppose some introductions are in order. Hello! Nice to meet you! Right here. Imagine starting new school this late. A little rude, everyone. Let them through. Yep, make way. Make way. There's a thing here. There's a handful of nuts. Love it. Ooh. Rebellion. Can I just spin all the globes? <laughs> just, I just, just poke. <laughs> well, I suppose no. Can I help you? Oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. 
Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figs, who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad That's you the best way to right. go. I mean, okay, if I if I were to choose how I die, being eaten by a dragon is a pretty cool way to go, right? Oh, am I a psychopath, though? It was exciting. It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience, nonetheless. Interesting perspective. <laughs> it was like how bad. did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. Oh, so it tells you this is a goodbye. What I'm inquisitive. Reading? A spellbook I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough, but not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. Forbidden spells. Ooh, forbidden spells. Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which ones? Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. <laughs> that is a conversation for another time. It was good meeting you. Good luck today. Forbidden spells, guys. Yes. We're one step closer to killing everyone. I mean, um, uh, expressing our creative liberties, uh, with, um, magic against our professors and classmates. Um, you know, this stream seems to be going really well so far. Let me double check. I think. I think my CPU is at 50%, my memory is at 70%. I'm thinking I can turn up the graphics just a smidge. My CPU seems to be pretty high. GPU is at about 50 as well. It does spike though, maybe we'll just leave it. Well, if you do that, you'll lose. Trust me. Is this magic chess? Oh. Uh, mate, well, Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Check me. Told you. You should have listened to me. I'm creepy. Ah, oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My <laughs> skills on a broom are legendary. Did you say so? Um. Ooh. I don't like either answer. I wish you had been there. Perhaps Professor Fig's friend would have survived if we'd had your help. Precisely. Perhaps one of oh. these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. I think she she might be a bit of a bitch and I love her. <laughs> Are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much to sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? Oh, so simple. You know, uh, dragons are more my speed. Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. So you're a bad student. Goodbye, Amelda. Nice meeting you. Ba, ba, ba. I want to play. Can I play? Mr. Grumpy Pants, can I play? Spin. Oh, are these fish? Wait, are we underwater? I, I don't know. 
I've never read the books, I'll be honest. Well, I read the first book. I read the first book this year. Literally this year I read the first book. I I think I heard one. Hmm. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. He's blind. I'm ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. The blind man is named Ominous. Um, I do like to make well, an entrance. If I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> You're definitely in the right house. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here, though I doubt you'll need it. Um, hmm. A mermaid's coming. Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin. One of the four founders of Hogwarts. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed mm. with blood status. A pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. No, oh, that's rough. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. Is Ominous. the new fifth year Slytherin in here? Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. Who oh, is this, a doggo? Oh, that's horrific and I hate it. Do it again. This is all really cool. I... I do like this. Um. Yeah, I. I think this is really cool so far. Wait, can I can I break? Pop, pop, pop. I can break. I'm not auto locking on though. So that's interesting. Maybe because it's not meant to be a combat area. Revelio. Oh, I wish I could use that while walking. I actually really want that tapestry in my house. That would be cool. I wish I received Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Oh. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? The owls. Owls. Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. Ah, my book! My book's running away! What is it? The book. It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Oh. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. 
For sure. Is this a chest I can plunder? I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. House chest. What? What do you mean place? Oh, is this for... It looks like I need to put stuff in there. Maybe like, uh, like, like house points or something. Yeah. Rebellion. I want all of the tapestries. Like every single one. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about visiting the oh. Of course, uh, wizarding law, right? Yeah. Yeah. Do keep up. Oh. Why don't you cast Revelio on that Revelio. and see what details the field guide can provide? Why do you have an eyeball? And I can't open you. Oh, right. Yeah. Um, the field guide. Revelio. Interesting. So you have to be like right on top of it. Kelpie statue. Guide pages. The statue depicts a Kelpie, a shape shifting, watered human native to Ireland and Great Britain, which usually takes the form of a long maned horse. The largest Kelpie ever reported is the Loch Ness Monster in Scotland. Oh, okay. Huh. Oh, I thought the game froze for a second. You just unlocked a field guide challenge. The progress towards completing challenges appears here. One of two. Field guide challenges are on the only way to acquire experience points or XP. Interesting. Oh. This is your wizarding level. XP earned from challenges increases your level and power. Your field guide tracks the current challenge progress. Select the challenges menu to continue. Is that a hippogriff? Collecting your first guide page unlocked a new challenge category. New challenges you unlock throughout your adventure will appear here. Select field guide pages to continue. Collect two field guide pages in Hogwarts 1 out of 2. Gear appearance reward. Great. Glasses. Just what I wanted. Um, each challenge has tiers. Special rewards unlocked at each tier you complete. From appearances to critical upgrades. Rewards must be claimed from the challenges menu. Come back often to collect rewards you have unlocked. So I have to manually unlock them though. Once I've completed. Clever, isn't it? Rebellion. Keep your eyes open for more opportunities. Like oh, oh, oh. That, inside and outside of the castle. <laughs> I got a little bit too distracted there. So that's the house chest. Can't do anything with that yet. Are we going upstairs? Oh. That's so cool. If I get closer, does it go up? Oh. Oh, I love this. I always wish I had magical powers, like... And that was in Slytherin, of course. Rebellion. Very, very cool. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Oh, of course! This guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. You've discovered a flu flame. A uh, fast travel point. You can open the map at any time to fast travel to any discovered flu, flu flames. Open map M. Cool, this is what I tried to do earlier, but I just got the options. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live. It includes the house, commons, room, and great hall. Okay. I only know like one area.
Okay. In this view, you can see flu, fl flu flames available in that region. Green flu flames represent flames you have discovered, including your own house common room. Gray flu flames reveal the location of undiscovered flames. The right side of the map is where you'll find academic points of interest, including the astronomy tower, library, and greenhouses. Select the right... Select the library annex location to continue. Professor Weasley has unlocked the central hall blue flames for you. Use AD to rotate map. Oh. And fast travel to the central hall blue flame with space. Okay, cool. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost Revelio. anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. The unicorn. Can I get a page from that unicorn? Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station. Revelio. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Uh, tell me about Defense Against the Dark Arts. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education. In They're going to die. Like, if there's one thing that I've learned from Harry Potter, you never want to be the defense against the dark arts teacher like they always die nothing good ever happens what will i learn in charms class exactly what you might expect spells charms, charms jinxes all terribly useful i think you will enjoy professor ronan he's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher hogsmeade you mentioned hogsmeade professor hogsmeade is the only all wizarding village in britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Ooh. There is, in fact, or I'm afraid there isn't. Loose lips. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh. <laughs> yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah. I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. 
And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Lovely. Oh, I do love the Weasleys. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? You did. I did my best, but... I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Unfold it and have a look. Uh, you can track quests avail- Hmm. You can track available quests from the map. This- That symbol. Re represents main quest. Completing main quest will further the story, unlock new features, and grant XP. Some quests are locked by spells and slash or level requirements. In these cases, you will need to be the required level and slash or have the required spell to activate the quest. New spells can be earned by completing professor's assignments or as quest rewards. Track a quest with right click to continue. Defense against the Dark Arts class. Yes. I get lost in this castle. I may need to use the charm compass V in the field guide to help me find the way. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Complete quest, welcome to Hogwarts. Awesome. XP? Charm Compass, new item unlocked. Cast Charm Compass V. Lead you to anything or track. So I'm currently tracking that one quest. Goes down that way. Cool. If I hit it again, does it go away? It does. Does not. Okay. Bop, bop, bop. Okay. Oh, I got another page. Central Hall Fountain Guide Pages. This ornate fountain features intricately carved statues of denizens of the magical world, including a set of stone sirens encircling the fountain's base. Wonderful, wonderful. What do we have here? Possibly be as difficult as it seems. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. 
Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. Oh, I'm like the statues. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. Yes. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do they come say, find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Will do. Lumos. Right. Must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. It doesn't go away. Interesting. Why does it not go away? Yeah, I'm not sure where that is. I mean, I, I, I of, of, of course I don't know where that is. Who's this? You have candy? I want some candy. Where'd the candy go? <laughs> oh, a page. I want you. Uh, come down. Nope. Get back here. Get back here. This looks like the location from the painting. Oh, does what it? What's so special about it? I, I wasn't even paying attention. Okay, well, I want that. I also want this page, though. Come back. Hmm. Oh, there's more than one. Can I, can I shoot you out of the sky? I don't know if this is working. I'll, I'll, I'll come back. That's, that's probably fine. Oh, hi there. Okay. What are you telling me? What are you? Are you a thing? You have a keyhole. Rebellion. Don't know if you're a thing. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We have a question mark on the door. We have a butterfly. Okay, clearly you're you're something. Hmm. This might be a later game thing. Yeah. Interesting. A, f a flu flame. Here we go. This has one question mark. So what are my options here? What is that? Okay, okay. So we have we have one question mark, right? That's right there. So that corresponds with that puzzle. I don't know what the two question marks is. Makes me feel like there should be another Another spinny doodad. Perhaps I'll just come back to that one then. Yeah, that's probably the safe bet here. Rebellion. Oh, yes, of course, statues. A statue of Gregory the Smarmy. Uh, this statue is an 
intrigate ingratiating grin depicts the medieval wizard Gregory the Smarmory, the wizard famous for inventing Gregory's uncutuous unction, <laughs> a potion that makes the drinker believe whoever gave them the potion is their best friend. How Smarmory. Wild. What a potion. Else too. A dash of powdered bat spleen, I think. Revelio. Hello. I love how you just open up doors by slamming your face into them first. Secrets? No secrets. This feels like a potions classroom. Professor Sharp's Aurora Badge. Aurora Badge. Aurora's comprise the Ministry's magical law enforcement uh, and protect the wizarding world from all sorts of threats, particularly those posed by dark magic. Aurora badge belongs to Professor Sharp. I want that. I don't want a badge, I want this badge. Revelio. Oh, hello, mister. Got a lot of fun stuff here. Oh, am I am I gonna make potions? Oh, this is exciting. Exciting day, exciting day. Rebellion. Secrets? Oh, hello, sir. Oh, yeah, uh, okay. Yep, no, that's, uh, that's normal. That's okay. Free stuff. Solar protection goggles. So, sunglasses. Thank you. What's down here? Revelio. Tattersall casual school uniform. Oh, I do I do like my current uniform though. But let's see, how do I Inventory. Wait, wait, wait. Gear. Yes. Very well. Black leather gloves. No magical properties. But I can wear gloves. Yes, very well. No magical property. Defense 3. Defense against the sun? I'm a nerd, but I have sun defense. Well appointed. Standard. Oh, so there's there's a rarity ranking as well. It looks like headwear. Nothing. Wait. Something. No magical value. Eh, not worth it then. I can get new wand handles. Interesting. Neckwear? I mean, all those stylish. Not very practical. Nothing there. Outfit. Defense zero cannot upgrade. Defense four! No trait applied, so that implies that I can apply a trait. Oh good, and then it does tell me up here the difference between... Oh, that's <laughs> just pajamas. Oh, I, I can just I can just fully walk around in my PJs. I love that. I absolutely love that. 
Um. <laughs> okay. Um. Inventory. I have inventory. No, no. I, I, I have nothing. That's okay. So exciting. What? Wait, wait, wait. Let me. That's not what I thought moved it in the least bit. Okay, that's okay. Thoughts? Oh, I can't break it. Oh, so... So upsetting. Another key. Level locked. Oh, I'm so cool. I'm like Neo in the Matrix. Okay, I should probably figure out how to get a class. Revenio. Why is this pot smoldering, though? Revenio. That's, that's just a thing that pots do sometimes. Nothing to look into there. Yeah, as, as you were. Wait, wait, wait. What was that? Okay. Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, no, that's normal. Am I... Am I dumb? I'm already at my destination. Is this my destination? This giant door? Oh! Well, it opened. Okay, where am I going? I should probably figure that out. So I want to go to class. That's, I want I want nothing more than to go to my defense against the dark arts class. There we go. That's somewhere different. Don't know where it was leading me last time. What? A hundred and forty-two staircases, and this is where they put me. <laughs> Fills our stout hearts with joy to be in the presence of such Revenue. Wild, okay. Never forget what that awful puff girl said in fourteen twenty one. Oh. Painting of Ilias. Ilias. I'm sticking with it. This painting depicts the young orphan wizard Ilias, who famously saved his entire village from an army of dementors and the dark wizard Raxidian by conjuring a mouse Patronus. Oh, that's class, that is. Cute. I think I just moved. That's okay. That happens. I'm getting distracted. I should go to... As well be Passes this way. Spin. Ooh, do you move? Do you do the thing? Do the thing. That's not what I was expecting you to do. Oh, I don't. Oh, I made a mess. I made a real big mess and I don't know how to fix this. I'm going to keep on walking. That never happened. You can't prove anything. What are you? What is any of this? I love it. It's disgusting. I did that too. Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. 
I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt, no? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now. Let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Oh, new spell. Let's see. I remember how to do this. Go, go, go. Neat. Levioso. I thought it was Leviosa. Now, let's try something a little larger. <laughs> Let us begin with a basic cost. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, now well done. I'm dead. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel. Using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Levioso. <laughs> You're good. How's the view? How's the view? Oh, we're good at this, aren't you? I know. Die, die, die. I mean, <laughs> that had oh, no. uh, G, heal. Oh. oh, don't do that. Oh, fingers. There we go. Then we'll always down. He's not. He's still breathing. Bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> still alive. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Slytherin. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Wonderful. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. I mean, fair. Yeah, that is how magic works. You drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done.
Ah, you. Is this an Iron Maiden? Nice work. It was used. It's used. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Oh. Have I done wand combat? Personally, I've never... Never used my wand in combat. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Forbidden spells. Give me forbidden spells. Intriguing. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck, or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. The absolute second. I can break the rules I will. The absolute second. Alright, I dropped a couple frames there. Hopefully I should be good. I made a slight adjustment. And I think that I think that did it. Rebellion. Ooh, what are you? Oh, it's above me. Hebridean black skeleton. This large dragon skeleton that hangs in the defense against the dark arts classroom is allegedly a trophy taken by Professor Hecat after she single-handedly defeated one of the largest poach poaching rings in eastern Wales during the Great Poacher Raid of 1878. Alright, yeah, not someone to mess with. A big old dragon. <laughs> wait, 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 is that... The meters are all kind of reversed, aren't they? Oh god. That's not good. That's not good. <laughs> I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. What about me? Pop, pop, pop. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. Oh, that's nice of you. What did I ever do to you? Rebellion. Huh. Always thought Leviosa was for first years. Not anymore. Leviosa. What? No. Oh. I can destroy the books. Can I? I can't Leviosa with the books, though. Oh, that's so satisfying. Oh, wait, but the knowledge. Oh, no. I'm just causing mischief. Can I knock down the skeleton? No. Okay. Off I go. What are you up to now? Rebellion. Apparently not unlocking flames. Your your flu flame, right? 
Why can I not unlock you? Side quests are now available. Wonderful. Okay, it doesn't say that there's a flu flame there. Hmm. Or maybe I was just looking at the map wrong. Why does that not activate? Also, this is a new statue, right? No? What are you? More secrets, perhaps? Oh, uh, we'll see. We will see. Train in a little bit. Where are you? Rebellion. I hear a jingle. Was the jingle? Oh, what are you? Augury skeleton. You got you got to stop with the hard words here. This is a skeleton of an Irish phoenix, or augury, an intensely shy bird who can forecast the coming of rain, and whose mournful cry was once believed to foretell death. That is terrifying, and I hate it. Rebellion. Oh, oh! I heard you. Is it you? Did you do the jingle? I can't tell what's doing the jingle. Oh, it's one of these again. Lumos. Oh, what's that vile stench? Oh, what is that portrait doing? Oh, the humiliation. What what is that portrait doing? Rebellion. Has one person even tried to sort this dreadful hmm. odor? No. What are you? Pungent passage. Oh. This passage is relatively nondescript as far as passages go. However, this the mishandling of a crop of Mimbolus. Mimbletania in the 17th century and the accompanying tsunami of stink sap left it with a rancid odor that even the strongest scoring charm could not seem to eradicate. Oh. In the 16th century? That was a good minute ago. Sounds like an awful place to live. Rebellion. Jingle? West Tower, flu flame unlocked. So this flu flame just did its thing. Rebellion. Didn't need any extra incentive at all. Oh. These tapestries are just beautiful. Oh, there's a thing. I don't know how to do that. Well, that seems to be a later thing. Locked. Where am I going? You know, I do have a map, and I do have... Boom. Is this already tracking? Okay, I guess it is now. 
Yes, magic book, take me there. Ah, so many stairs. So many levels. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. Revelio. Some that... of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. That's not a thing. Blue flame? Yeah, that one works too. In the goblins in the uprising. Werewolves, where were you? In the goblin rebellion of 1752. And by the end of it, the minister for magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Oh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack. Was the minister a boot or the minister a flat? Rebellion. Stop it, Peeves, you'll get us in trouble. In trouble you'll oh. be, but you can't get Peeves a smack. She says it's a boot, and he says it's a clap. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't boot, and it wasn't flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. Cat. <laughs> yes. This is what I came here for. That's all I want. Hopefully, that's not a professor. Um, I had to try. Don't, don't judge me. I wanted to know. <gasps> yes, another one. They call it chemistry. Yes, I'm aware. Muggles have a lot of different words for things. It might as well be French. I wonder how similar it is to potions. I'm sure it's nothing like it in the least, with the exception that it can go horribly wrong. Revelio! You had a potion go horribly wrong. What? Oh. Oop, time for the quest. I mean, class. Did I say quest? I meant class. There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with the passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Mmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are, and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get it to place now. He likes his job. He enjoys what he does. Oh. Oh. Accio. Look at me go. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking the 
we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. Ah. After me. Field trip, let's go. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. That's a good professor. I really like his model. Like, he genuinely seems like he cares about teaching and enjoys his job. And I love that. <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport? put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Cool. <laughs> Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the possible moment. Now, a thing oh. happens to the best of us. Splendid! Stay focused! How do I release? No, no. Certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. I don't... I'm not letting go, though. Let us do this. There's something aren't here. Exactly your typical lesson, is it? Not that I mind. Okay, let me let me stand right in front of you. So if this backfires, I push it again. Got it. Very good. Watch this. Yeah, that's not gonna do. There we go. Let's uh let's do something a little cheeky. I took you with me though. Well played. I took you with me. That's okay. I want to knock you off, but I think I will start going easy on you now. Oh, 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 no, I lost. Oh, no. Wait. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Totally on purpose. Yeah, I did that. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Oh. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Let us see this. Got it. That is how it's done. Akia. No, stop! Mm. Not to worry. Watch this. Get hit, get hit, get hit. Oh ho! Oh ho ho ho! Thank 
That won't do. That just won't do. Get hit. Oh. There we go. Was it high? Oh. Hmm. I did that. Good, both of you. Well done. Can't win them all. And that's fine. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. A tight game. It turns out we were evenly matched. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. It took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Clearly I'm just a monster. I'm glad you understand. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, okay, okay. bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? It addresses Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Interesting. So they have wandless magic. Surely the magic is weaker? No, I don't want to say that. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. I feel like the wand would like focus your energy more. Because like wands are made with like weird cores like phoenix feathers and like like other like weird stuff like uh, unicorn hairs. So like they have like like a core that you focus your magic through. So I would imagine that wandless magic would be more, not chaotic, but like uncontrolled, unrefined. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. I would love to see you can use Aggie on humans <laughs> if you're so inclined. Well, you'd be using <laughs> your clothing to be precise, Bastion. You know it won't work on humans. Rebellion. Oh. Oh, I heard a jingle. Up there? A word if you will. Yeah, a second, give me a second. I'm doing secrets. Behind a wall, I see. Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. <laughs> you wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? 
And what a close match between you and Miss Ornai. Invigorating. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Mini quests. Yes, I love it. A complete charms class. Oh, I love this game. Hello there. You're the new Hello. student, aren't you? Hello. Who wants you? to speak to me? Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day's going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. I don't want to come off as too... Is smarmy the right word? I've been fortunate. Obtuse. Begins luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. <laughs> Rebellion. Ah, oh, there's secrets everywhere. I just don't know how to get to them. Oh, you're behind a door. I can see this one. Okay, okay, so... I'm assuming I solve for X, right? So... I'm thinking the middle number is the solution, right? So the solution is 5. So it's 3... Also assuming it's addition, so three plus zero, so that's two. So one, two, unicorn. I can't do unicorn. Unicorn's not an option. But zero is an option, so if that's zero... One, two. It's the goat bat. Okay. So unicorn, so zero, that's one. So that's five. Right. Seven? Seven. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is the strange squid kind of looks like a person but I'm gonna say strange squid awesome 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 collection updated ooh I got new clothes I think Revenio. Ooh, a new gloves, too. I don't know what to do with anything else in here. Gear. Ooh, they do, they give me offense. Yes, please. Um, and then... Oh, what else did I get? I'm not sure where else that was. I'll have to look at the recording and, and double check, perhaps. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, it was under collections, wasn't it? Probably this one. I don't know what any of these are. Plates. A collection of plate display. Okay. Hmm. Cosmetic alterations applied to gear via the change appearance option in the gear menu. 
Appearances in this list are rewards for special accomplishments, such as challenges and quests. Oh, that's pretty snazzy, though. The Lilac Collection? Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So, if I go to gear, can I throw on this raggedy scarf that I don't like? I don't know how to change the appearance. Hmm. I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually. There'll probably be like a mini tutorial game about it. Rebellion. Oh, it's so lavender -y. Oh, I know this one. I know this one. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm here. Got it. Cool. Oh, cat. It's wild to me that they have, like, an actual cutscene for this. I don't know how games do. That might be normal. I could get lost in here so easily. Oh. Are you a thing? I don't know what you're all about, buddy. No? Oh. Oh, where'd the statue go? Something's making a chime sound. Is it that chest over there? Oh. Cool. Interesting. I feel like there's so many puzzles all around me. Oh. Is that nearly Headless Nick? No, he's in chains. That's not for me to figure out. Oh, they move. Tapestry of Barnabas. Barnabas the Barmy. This tapestry depicts the wizard Barnabas the Barmy's f foolish attempt to train trolls for a ballet. One can only imagine the impact on the hearts had he succeeded. Is that how he died? Oh. Oh. You kind of had that coming, buddy. Where are you? You look like a thing. You're not a thing. Okay. Right, yeah. That's normal. That's fine. Of course. Rebellion. Yeah, I know that. Yeah. Hmm. Secret secrets? Oh, you don't auto-read? Okay. My dear... Oh, God. Satyavadi. My dear Satyavadi. You'll be pleased to hear that I received word from my contacts at Cambridge 
who conceded that they had, in fact, been incorrect in their understanding of meteor showers. It seems that an Irish astronomer and a British astronomer both built upon the work done by an Italian astronomer, all muggles, mind you, as far as I know, to propose calculating the position of the dust at Earth's orbit as means of connecting meteors to comets. Brilliant, really. One can only imagine what they might do with an en enchanted telescope. Frustratingly, in my correspondence, I did feel that I had to continue using the pseudonym for my days as a gentleman scholar. Whilst I still find it rather exciting to have a secret identity, the reason irks me. I am so I am so looking forward to our trip later this year to Jantar Mantar. What an adventure we shall have. I miss you, dear sister, and do hope you are well. With love, Sutrida. I got all those names terribly, terribly wrong. And that's okay because I I don't I don't care. Rebellion. No secrets. Oh, and a locked chest. Oh. Huh. I don't know why, but every now and then my GPU just absolutely spikes. It's at a hundred percent right now. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm not sure how the stream's looking right now. I'm not sure if it's even watchable, <laughs> to be completely honest. Uh, because I am having a, a couple recording issues. Well, first, streaming issues, and now slight recording concerns um so we'll even see if this gets uploaded or if i have to start all over from scratch and replay the game so it's uh so it's actually watchable um but if you made it this far amazing that you're awesome thank you so much for watching um like comment subscribe all that fun jazz um and uh give me money <laughs> I, I do have a patreon it's completely voluntary of course it's your money do it as you will but I will be adding that to the comment section, or not comments, um, the, the, the description. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one. See you later.